Yo, what's going on guys? JVH here and today I am back on R Factor 2 where we are hitting up a brand new V8 Supercars 2020 mod uh, from the guys at FBR Factor. Now we're going to be running a recreation of the Winton Super Sprint which takes place at the Winton Raceway which is in Victoria, Australia. It's one of the sort of tracks that I really believe is in the heart of Australian motorsport. It's where a lot of drivers start their careers out. It's a track that a lot of teams use to test at and has been around for a while. So without any further ado, I'm going to go run a quick qualifying session, see where we start up and then get the race underway from there. Alrighty, so qualified 11th, which is pretty much mid-pack. I mean, we got 26 cars in total in this 2020 mod. Got a pair of uh, DJR Team Penske cars off the pole, which is probably pretty realistic to write about now. Today's race is going to be 27 laps in length, which is around sort of half of what I think it is in real life. There's actually a couple races on the Winton Super Sprint weekend that these supercars run, but I'm only running just the one. Uh, we've got the difficulty set 200 and 10%, 40% AI aggression, 100% uh, damage multiplier. If you have R Factor 2, you'll know what that means. Going into this race, the tire wear, we're gonna be able to easily get to the end on one sort of stop based on fuel. However, because this is a super soft tire round, uh, or super soft, sorry, Dunlop soft tire round, we are gonna have to watch that tire wear. So I'm gonna have to try not to lean on the tire too much. And yeah, hopefully just <laughs> get away with not being able to wheel spin as much as I probably usually would. Alrighty, here we go. 2020 series mod in the Supercars Championship. R Factor 2 around Winton. Underway. Oh my god, the guy did not go at all in front of me. Alrighty, into turn one. Man, this start finish rate is very narrow. I was thinking about going around him, but didn't want to have to go to the grass. Into turn number three. This is where it all gets a bit choppy. See if we can sneak up the inside. Now, the cockpit in this Ford is so different to the Holden, so I actually had to completely adjust the, the view to be able to see over the steering wheel. <laughs> I mean, I am only like five foot eight, and uh, quite funny how the game replicated that. Oh, mate. Free spots. Elbows out. I'm, I'm trying to do this without using too much of the tyre here on lap one. Oh. Hey, I am making all sorts of mistakes. And we have gone from like 11th up to like, what are we, 5th? 4th? 5th. Two DJ, uh, DJR cars have just yeeted off into the distance. All right, head down, let's go. 27 laps, long race. Just cannot use up this tire too early. Now this uh, rendition of Winton is slightly out of date, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually from R Factor 1, which is being, being converted to R Factor 2. I mean, it still looks pretty realistic. The layout hasn't changed, but definitely the curbs and bits and bobs will not be 100% realistic. It's by no means laser scanned. really worried about the guys in front right now just gonna try and I keep saying it save these tires because when you have no tire left in a v8 supercar you are screwed I definitely think our qualifying pace is a lot quicker than our race pace I was shocked that we qualified that far up the, f the grid oh, no, it's too deep come on Joseph ah Messi, come on. I mean, this on this tyre, this mod definitely feels a little bit too gripped up compared to what it would be in real life. I mean, I don't know what we're doing times-wise compared to what they would be doing in real life. I mean, the layout's going to be slightly different in terms of, yeah, you know, because it's not laser scan, but definitely feels like we got a lot more grip than what it looks like they do in real life. I've uh, just been driving really bad here. I haven't quite got it down. We've gone from a Formula Ford to a historic touring car, like a 70s uh, muscle car, essentially, to now a 2020 V8 supercar. So <laughs> it's taken my brain a while to get used to it. But anyway, we're just about three laps into this one. Keep overshooting that corner. It really tightens up on the exit. Okay, 
Anyway, got a queue of cars behind us. Just can't keep with these two in front of us. I mean, I could, but I'd just ruin the tire in the process. Uh, big old ding dong, <laughs> ding dong for fifth. I just do not have any sort of pace right now. It's only getting worse as well. We have to try and survive till lap 13. And we can box, take these tyres off, put some new ones on. Uh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, losing all sorts of front grip. Damn it. No pace, man. Starting to ease up a bit of the tyre now, just to try and stay with this pack in front of me. Alright, so all the AI are pitting this time. I'm going to wait one more lap. Ah, uh, come on. Alright, now for some reason, the uh, actual <laughs> speed pit limit is completely set to wrong, uh, set wrong on this mod. So, yeah, as you can tell, we were going way quicker than what you would be in real life. But I'm hoping I can short fuel this car and get out in front a lot of the guys that we're racing with. Alright, where are we going to come out? Where are we going to come out? Oh, we're alongside someone. Alright, we're actually back up in fifth. We have new tyres and everyone else behind us as well. Just gonna hopefully come in handy. Alright, 12 laps to go. She knows. Bloody hay fever.
Uh, it's time to press on. James Courtney, a couple seconds ahead. Tracks also rub it in quite a bit, so there's a lot more grip than what there was, which will do good for our tyre conservation. Alright, that was a pretty quick lap. Using all that kerb in the second corner. I hate the way that freaking kerb just pulls the car to the bloody left. And we were actually catching Wink Up ahead of us. I thought it was Courtney. It's actually Wink Up. Alright, come on. Uh, starting to use the tire already. I can feel it. Yeah, I've used up too much of the tyre, just not making any more inroads. Yeah, fronts are gone, skis. You never know, the AI might <laughs> might actually pit again. You, they've done more. They've done stranger things, sorry, in this R Factor 2 season I've got going on. Yeah, that was a poor lap. Our Chaz Mostert's catching up behind us. down. Mental errors everywhere. At that point in the race. Alright, A laps to go. Oops. Change gears. Struggle to hold on to fourth here. This guy is right up my ass. Five to go. No, 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 no. Ah! Just understeered off the track. Got no front tyres left. God damn it. Whoa. Yellow. Rally cross. You! Uh, 
tires aren't actually that bad. It's just the fronts that are wearing out. Oh, I wish I had my anti-roll bar mapped. Got it set to traction control instead, idiot. So use a softer front roll bar right about now. Damn it. That's right, we got a 12 second gap back to the car in six, so we should be able to hold this top five. And the AI might, <laughs> may still make a second pit stop, I don't know what they're like on tyres either. even get it stopped anymore. Well, I'm not going to hold on to a top five and keep doing shit like that. Trying to use the rear brake now to get it to rotate since I've got no front tyres left. Really wish I'd mapped that bloody roll bar. That was a big mistake. Come on. Alright, this is the second to last lap. Still got a massive gap to the car behind, let's just not make any mistakes. Since moving that bias to the rear, this thing is handling way better. I'm gonna go and drop a wheel <laughs> as I say that. That's actually been not too bad, to be honest. This goes to show you how important the brake bias being right is. I've now actually returned to the same pace that I was, just by going two clicks to the rear on the brakes. Alright, last lap, here we go. Got 1.9 laps of fuel left, so absolutely nailed the fuel. Keep forgetting how quickly that first corner comes up on you. mouth lads <laughs> I was not willing to take my hands off the steering wheel oh, this hay fever season is gonna kill me Second to last corner, keep it on the track. Top five at Winton, I'll take that. 
Man, in practice, I was not thinking we were going to get anywhere near the top five, but, oh, man, fun little sprint race there. Absolutely nailed the fuel. I'm so happy about that. Anytime you sort of guess the fuel on the run and you get it absolutely spot on, <laughs> it's like, yes. <laughs> All right, well, that concludes uh, this one. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Stay tuned for more Supercars content throughout the year. Actually, I'm not sure where we're going next. Um, but, yeah, I'll definitely... Uh, keep up with the supercars i do love this mod even though this is sort of a new 2020 mod it's basically the same cars as the as the 2019 version from fvr so yeah definitely check it out if you have r factor 2 links are all in the description below and until next time I'll catch you guys later